Hey guys, what's up? Appetestop here, and today I'll be showing you guys a video of Portrait Ed's Eye to tweak inside Cydia, guys. And it's an amazing tweak. It's by Phosphor and Mobile, guys. I'll have his link down in the description if you guys want to check him out. He's an amazing developer, guys. And yeah, I know I already made videos on this tweak, but uh, I actually have a demo of it. I actually can show you guys the tweak itself now. So I decided to make another video. So, Craig goes to Phosphor and Mobile, guys. I'll have his link down in the description. He's the guy that actually provided me. He's the developer of the tweak. He provided me with a demo with a free version of the tweak. So I can show you guys, but it does cost money to tweak, and it's definitely worth downloading after I show you guys this video. You guys must have download, guys. I know you're going to love the tweak. So you said hi there. Thanks for making a video about my tweak, Portraits I was wondering why you did not download the tweak. If you have it, if you don't have it, I would have, it. I would have gifted it if you asked for a review. So you guys want to open up Cydia, and you guys want to go down to your sources tab. And you guys want to add this source right here, the package source, guys. That's the source right that you guys want to add. Once you guys add the source, you guys go down to the search, or actually open up the... Uh, repo and just search for portrait at i right, so we type in portrait at i guys and there it is right there portrait at i you want to tap on it and you guys just want to tap on the top right to install it and you guys would need to sign in with package so you guys want to scroll down all the way down um you can actually tap in log in and you log into it'll take, it'll take you to the package website you just want to create an account and then uh log in or sign with google or facebook or discord and once you guys are signed in you guys can basically just install it if you don't sign in it probably won't you install it and this does work on iOS 11 up to the latest jailbreak, so iOS 11.0 and later. And it gets updated like a lot. And also, I want to mention that this is basically the, the update log of like what the, um, the new updates come with. And if you guys scroll up, all this right here, guys, is a freemium ask questions. So you guys should definitely read this. I know I told you guys to read this in my other video, um, but definitely read this because this probably answers most of your questions. Alright, so yeah, once you install the tweak, uh, your device will respring. So. And then when you go to settings, you want to scroll down to your tweak section, and you guys should have the tweak right there, portrait at I. You want to tap on it, and then basically you get just, just a simple sentence, guys. You get enabled, and you just tap on enabled, and on it, and then unable it by, by tapping again. And you guys get his tweets, so he does, he's really creative, he's a really awesome developer, and you have all these different tweets, where I'll probably make some videos on these tweets. These are all his other tweets that he created. Yeah, we're actually going to make sure it's enabled, and then once it's enabled, we're going to go over to our camera, and basically just go to our camera like that it's gonna load it and then you see this kind of like crappy quality but you have to make sure this is on and then it changes the quality so much i'm gonna show you two pictures on the screen right now of basically the quality the better quality um this this offer so the one um one of them is gonna be just a camera and the other one's gonna be with the portrait at on so you see the difference and see the, the difference in the quality it works best with like humans and like pictures of different people but it does work with other stuff too it just basically makes the image stand out more and it makes the background like all blurry i don't know how he did this it's the, the tweak is so amazing it works on like i said old devices too like the iphone i think 6s and up so i just want to mention some um these are some frequently asked questions guys these are two that i see had questions on and i think this will answer some of your questions so it is in the city, but I just want to um, go over two of them. So this one is what is the difference between app app store apps that can add blur effects and portraits eye. So I don't think he added this one yet, but he will. Apps require you to take or load a photo, mainly adjust the effect and then save it to a roll. Now it's a normal flat image portrait side instead says a real portrait mode photo, meaning you get the portrait badge. It appears in portrait mode album, portrait effect toggle, edible lighting effects, full support and apps like focus. Furthermore, portrait eye is fully automatic. Everything is done with a single shutter press. So most people do not realize that he even said that down here. That in this in the settings there is a his tweak sections. It is the source you guys would like we need to add um, to get portrait at eye. So there's another another question I'll go with you guys. So basically he said that um, I already have a dual camera phone. It's how useful is this to me? So basically for the iPhone X and up, I think also for the iPhone 7, 8, they have a dual camera too. And if you're wondering, like, I don't need this tweet because I had the iPhone 7, iPhone 8, or iPhone X, XS, or XR, or Matt's, whatever, then you like, I don't need this tweak. But it's actually different, guys. So he explains right here, dual camera phones. Awesome until it forces you to have, to take a step back, to take what a portrait, portraits are. You can use any one of the wide angle telephoto camera to take a picture. So this means you finally have a way to take wide angle portrait shots without buying the XR. Do not note that it will never be as accurate as dual camera phones, but you can give decent so shots. Also, last thing I do want to mention is that a lot of people do not realize this, but I honestly did not realize this. But honestly, talking to him, he's actually a really smart guy. I mean, just to create this and just talk to him, he's really smart and he's a really nice guy. But but he actually had a good point. So even like you gotta realize this with um you know tweak developers that um it's you know like okay let's say like fifty percent said yes, fifteen percent will pirate it out of the fifty percent that say yes. So that means thirty five percent, and then which means seventy buying users assuming two dollars. 
would say the tweak is two dollars, and then with fees, it's actually one dollar and fifty cents. So that makes a total of one hundred and five dollars. So you gotta realize that these tweets that like they take so much time and effort and probably money to make, and then most of these developers don't really get that money back. So you gotta appreciate all the hard work these developers do for us. Yeah, hey guys, I kind of wrapped up this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, guys, peace.